Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different tech tips and how to become a freelancer. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create very simple cartoon animations using Canva completely for free. These are going to be simple whiteboard or explainer video style animations. We're not going to be adding voice. These are just simple cartoon animations and you can use these kinds of videos for your website, social media, for YouTube, explainer videos for your business or whatever idea you have. The first thing you need to do is sign up to Canva and once again, you can do this with a free account. If you don't have a Canva account, you can sign up using the link in the description below. And once you do that, you're going to click here on create a design, type in video, and then choose whatever video size you want. So in this case, we're going to create a standard size video, 1920 by 1080, so I'll click on that. So now we're ready to start making our video. The first thing we need is a background, and there are a few things you can do. You can go here to background and search for whatever background you want, but if you're creating an animated video and you want a cartoon style background, you should go to elements. And here, where it says search elements, you can type in city or a street, for example, and then you can look at all the different options that you have, for example, this one. Now, any one that has this crown icon is only for pro users. So this one, for example, is pro, but this one would be a free example or this one, for example. Another option is that you can go to uploads and upload your own image. So I created this background image of a street with rain using AI. So you can do something like that as well if there's something in particular you're looking for. And then what you can do is just click and drag it and resize it so that it fits the frame or reposition it however you like. So now we have to add an animated character. So go to elements and click on the X to clear your previous search. So we're going to type in walking, for example. I want a person walking. And what you're going to do is click here on the settings icon and select animated because we want it to be animated and not static. Now, if you only have a free account, you can click free and this will show you all of the free options. And if you have a pro account, you can leave them both unchecked so you can see all of your options. So now here under graphics, just click on see all. And so you can see there are many different ones to choose from. I'm going to choose this one with the woman walking with an umbrella and it is free to use. So you can click on the character and reposition her wherever you want. You can also resize it. And let's say I have her right here. So for this example, I want to create a promo video for my social media page. Maybe I have a business. So what I want to do is make her walk across the street. I want her to start here and then walk off the scene. What I'm going to do is click here on animate. Now you can see there are a bunch of different preset animations, but we're going to click here on tools where it says create an animation. And you can see this little demo here. This allows you to select and drag an element around the canvas to create your animation. Now these tips here are very important. So for example, if I just clicked and just moved her like this, it's going to make her follow this strange little path. So obviously we want her to be walking in a straight line. So I'm going to click here on delete path. And what you can do is hold shift while you are dragging the element to create straight lines. So if I click on it, then hold shift, you can see that it's going to make a straight line. Now, if I go like this up, it would make a straight line up. So we're just going to click, press shift, and I'm going to make this a straight line all the way across the page. Now this is a little choppy, so there's something we can do to fix this. Under movement styles, you can choose smooth or you can choose steady. So I'm going to choose steady. And we can also reduce or increase the speed. Well, obviously that's too fast, so let's make it go a bit slower. Once you're finished, click done. So now let's talk about the length of this video. You can see down here that this video is 5.7 seconds long. So to make your video longer, hover your mouse to the edge of this clip here and drag it so you can change the number of seconds. Let's say I want this to be 15 seconds long. Now, this does not mean she will walk for 15 seconds because you can see here, 
she walks and then we still have the rest of the clip. So let's say you want her to walk slower or faster, you have to adjust the animation. So to do that, click on the element that you're animating and go up here where it says custom and you just have to reduce the speed. So let's reduce the speed to the very end and now press play. So now you can see that she's walking slower so this video lasts longer and she finishes just before the clip ends. So now let's say you want to add a second scene to your video. Just click here on add page. You can adjust the length. So let's say I want this to be around seven seconds long. Once again, we're going to add a background. Now this time I'm going to show you a different way to do animation in Canva. So let's go to elements and I'm going to type in street panorama. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and readjust this. So you can see that it goes off screen, but that's okay. And I'm going to start it at the beginning here. Go back to elements and type in walking or something like that. Once again, I'm looking for an animated animation. Let's say I'm going to use this girl here. So I'm going to position her so she's in the middle. And this time, rather than have her move across the page, I want the background to move to give the illusion that she's walking. Something like this is great for a vertical style video or reel because you don't have as much space to be able to do the movement across the page. So now click on the background image and make sure that this image is not set to the background because you need it to be a layer so that you can move it around, okay? Now click animate and then click create an animation. So what you're going to do is click on the element, hold down shift and slowly go to the left. So we're making it look like she's walking all the way across. Okay, and so once again, we can change the movement style to smooth or to steady, however you want. And if you're unable to reduce the speed, you will have to increase the length of the video. So you can see that I can increase the speed of this and make it go really fast, but I can't decrease it. And that's because I have this set to around seven seconds. So let's just drag on this clip to increase the length of the clip. And now I can slow it down, okay? There we go, and then just click done. So now what you can do is add a transition by clicking on this icon here, and then you can choose any of these transitions. So there's a dissolve transition, a slide transition, circle wipe, color wipe, and all of these are customizable. So you can change the direction that you want, or for color wipe, for example, you can change the color scheme. I'm just going to go with the simple line wipe. So now I want to show you a third final way to do animation with Canva using the match and move tool. So we're going to click on add page again, and this time I'm going to add just a standard gradient background. Now I'm going to go to elements, I've typed in skateboard, and I'm going to use this image here of this girl skateboarding. So what I want to do is position this, I actually wanna make it quite big. I'm going to reduce the length of this scene so it's around four seconds. And now what I want to do is right click and select duplicate page. So now we have two pages that have the exact same elements. And on the last page, I'm going to click on this element again, and this time resize it. So she will be over here. And then I can put my company slogan or a logo or whatever here. So obviously right now, if we press play, you can see how choppy that looks because it goes from one big to small. So Canva has this awesome transition called match and move. So once again, hover your mouse in between the two pages and click on add transition. And this time we're going to select match and move. And you can see that match and move animates identical elements smoothly between pages. So if we increase the duration of this and press play, you can see that she smoothly is going smaller to where we positioned her in the last page. So you can adjust the duration to make the match and move transition last longer or shorter depending on your preference. Now I want to show you how you can add animated text. And I'm going to show you a few different ways. So the first way is we're going to still use this match and move tool. So I'm going to click here on text, then add a text box. So you can change the font type and click here to change the text color. So let's say this is a women's community. 
I can click here to adjust the size like that. I can also click here on effects and add a shadow or an outline. So right now I'm going to click on the text, right click, copy. Now I'm going to go to the previous scene, right click, paste. And this time I'm going to adjust it so it's quite small and then just reposition it somewhere. So now you don't even have to apply the match and move transition because we've already added it between the third and fourth page. So when we press play, you can see it will go ahead and animate the text for us. So that's one way to animate your text. Another way is let's do this on our second scene. Once again, add a text box and just add your text. Make any adjustments you want to the style or the color and reposition it how you like. So now you're going to click on the text box, click on animate, and you could do the custom animation like we did with the woman walking in the rain. But what I like about Canva is they have these different writing animation effects. So there's all these cool ones, shift, ascend, block, roll, bounce. And I especially like the typewriter effect. This is very common with explainer videos. So you can make some customizations for the animation options, you can have it animate both on enter and on exit. So if we scroll our playhead, you can see at the end it disappears. I just want it to animate on enter. And you can also adjust the speed if you have the pro account of Canva. If not, they just have it at this default setting. So you can make it go faster or slower. And if you have the pro account, you can adjust writing style. So it will animate by character or by word. I like it just by character. Okay, and then that's that, and there you go. So I wanna show you one final thing that's quite cool, especially with this animation here. I'm going to click add a text box, and for this one, okay. So for this one, because I have the woman already walking, I want to do a cool effect with the text. Now that I have the text positioned here, I'm going to click on position, and then layers, and I'm going to put this text behind the woman, okay? And now I'm going to click on the text, copy it, or control C, and then paste. And position it so it's right on top and snaps into place on top of the original text. Now I'm going to click on effects, and I'm going to click on hollow, and then change the thickness to the very end. So what's cool about this is we have the woman sandwiched between the text. So as she's walking, she's walking across the text and it's kind of putting emphasis on each word. So it's not really animating the text, but it's a cool effect that's highlighting each word as she's walking across. So now I want to show you how you can add music to your little video. What you're going to do is at the side here, click on apps and then type in audio. So you're going to click here on audio, and this is going to show you a bunch of different tracks that you can use in your video. So if you click here on the settings icon, you can make sure to click free if you don't have the pro account, or you can put the type of music that you're looking for, and you can preview any of the tracks by clicking on the play icon. And if you like one, just click on it, and that will add it automatically to your video. So what you can do here is click and drag, so it starts at the beginning, but you can also choose when the music starts. So right now, I've selected that the music will start at the beginning, but say there's a section of the song that you like that's later on, you can click and hold and choose to start it whenever you want. I'm just going to have it start at the beginning, and you can see that it automatically is going to last the length of my video. So what you can do is at the top here, click on fade, and you can add a fade in or a fade out so it's not choppy. You can also adjust the volume and then press play to preview. So now we're ready to export our video. Just click here on share, then click download and make sure it's going to download as an MP4 video. Under select pages, it should automatically say all pages and then just click download. And this is going to download it as an MP4 video that you can now upload on YouTube or your social media page or your website. So let's preview our video.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make simple animations using Canva. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.